Humane USA held a fundraiser at the W Hotel on Lexington Avenue. Mary Max was one of the chairmen of the event. There are very few laws on the books to protect animals, very few. And we need to get compassionate candidates into the House of Representatives and the Senate to propose laws and pass them so that we can protect animals. A number of the celebrities on hand were not only supporters of the cause, but vegans. Alicia Silverstone not only supports the cause, she lives it. Most diseases today are caused by the animals, the animal foods. So it's really, really good to eliminate those things for your body. And it's really good for our environment. Our, I don't want my kids to not be able to breathe in this world, and they're not going to be able to if we continue at the rate we're going. You know, we're poisoning the air and poisoning the water. For Moby, it was a personal experience that made him give up meat. When I was growing up, I always had dogs and always had cats. And I guess when I was around 16 or 17 years old, I was eating a hamburger, and I looked down at my dog, and somehow I made the connection between the hamburger, the meat I was eating, and the dog. Obviously, the hamburger wasn't made out of dog, but I realized, well, if I love animals, how can I, in good conscience, eat them? Artist Peter Max says being a vegan makes his juices flow. If you're a vegan, it's very extremely good for your body. You know, I'm creative all day long. I draw, I paint. I have much, much, much more energy. I feel calmer. You know, I feel strong. And it's really the right way to eat. I think we were meant to eat that way. For Mary Max, you not only look good, but you do good. Eating a, a, a diet that's heavy in meat also aggravates world hunger. There is enough grain to feed the entire population today but we are taking that grain and we are feeding it to cattle instead of to people. And when anybody sits down to a 12-ounce steak, that means that about 50 to 60 people went without a bowl of rice. The vegan and vegetarian dishes tasted as good as they looked. And the entertainment, it got the animal lovers hip shaking. <laughs> Vegan desserts sure are good, but they're awfully hard to eat with a chopstick at the W Hotel on Lexington Avenue. George Whipple, New York One.